What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking buzz baits, buzz bait fishing. How, where do you start? What colors do you use? What type do you use? Well, there's a big variety of buzz baits, but it all comes down to a few essentials. An overcast day is better for topwater buzz bait. A little wind is better, a little rain is better. Overcast, I like dark colors, black and blues. Uh, this one right here is a little Strike King Tri-Wing black and blue. There's also a mini one. You can throw different size buzz baits. I like throwing the big buzz baits when I'm going after big bass. And then on bright sunny days, uh, that you have some wind, you always want some wind with a buzz bait. Throw a white chartreuse buzz bait, there's one. Throw a white buzz bait. Um, and you don't really need a trailer, but a lot of people like using a trailer. One of the most popular trailers is a little rivet toad. Stick that on the back of a buzz bait. Here's a little Hummer by the Guggen Squad. That's a good little buzz bait. Black and blue with a gold blade. There's a Booyah buzz bait. There's so many different buzz baits and a variety of buzz baits. But they all catch fish. A lot of them will catch fish in the same situations. You just gotta get out there, put it in front of the fish. He hears that slow plop, 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 plop coming across the top of the water. You're gonna get bit. Today it's bright and sunny. We're at this little pond. I got a white buzz bait tied on. And bright white for this bright sunny day, it's kind of in the middle of the day. The worst time you can throw a buzz bait, we're still gonna fish around in this pond and try to catch a couple on it. But when you're fishing buzz baits, go as slow as you can. Reel it as slow as you can while still making the plop, plop, plop. And those fish just, something about that slow action coming across the top triggers them to bite. They love it. They smash buzz baits. Top water fishing is so fun. So we're gonna cast around here in the pond today, try and catch a couple on a buzz bait. Might have to switch it up. We'll see if they bite it or not, but tough, tough uh, time of day to catch them on a buzz bait here in the middle of the day in sunny conditions. Let's see if we can catch a couple. There's this little white buzz bait, bright sunny day. This pond is looking pretty dirty. There's one. Man, he crushed that. Woo! All right. That's a good one right there. On the old buzz bait. White buzz bait. Man, he wanted that two and a half pounder. All right. Sweet. Right in front of me. Wow. <laughs> Slow mo that blow up. That was awesome smashed it missed four of them that was the first one that connected sweet there's one oh two in a row that one didn't eat it very hard there's one way out there all right and crushed it right next to the grass patch out there. Little healthy bass. See ya. Okay, we caught us a couple out of the little pond on this buzz bait. Threw it around a bunch. I actually got five blow ups that did not connect on the buzz bait, did not eat it all the way. And sometimes when they're doing that, you can either downsize your buzz bait, you can throw back in there with a wacky rig, a Senko or something, and you'll actually hook up on those fish. Uh, or you can add a little trailer, something for them to target. Typically, I don't throw a trailer, but you can throw a little swim bait on there. Sometimes it entices them into biting more when they're being finicky like that. But, like I was saying earlier in the video, your dark overcast days, Usually they demolish it like that two and a half pounder did today, right next to the bank, they demolish it. When you're fishing ponds like this, always try and parallel the edge of the pond. Go right next to the bank with your buzz bait. The fish are up there feeding a lot of times. If you're fishing lakes, fish the edge of grass lines, 
fish up next to the bank same type of deal try to parallel that cover where those fish are going to be hanging at and you're going to catch more fish on a topwater buzz bait it's hard to beat that blow up so fun so fun and yeah so if you haven't thrown a buzz bait give these tips a try if you have comment down below your favorite kind and color of buzz bait and your favorite time to throw it but i told you mine i gave you some tips go out and try them see if you can catch some fish and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't fishing with nordby subscribe to mystery tackle box we're gonna get out of here see you guys next time